Good evening, everybody. Sorry that we couldn't all be together in the Performing Arts Center here tonight. Uh, wish you were here with me, but we're gonna have a great night celebrating our seniors and celebrating the donors and their generosity. It's gonna be a great night. So thank you for joining us virtually. Um, glad that we could have everybody here, at least from the comfort of their own homes. Uh, let's get in there and start our celebrations of our seniors that have shown excellence over their five years here at the high school. Excited to join you tonight to celebrate them. Let's get started. Welcome everybody to the 20th Annual Senior Scholarship Awards Night. My name is Mark McMill and I am principal of this great high school and on behalf of our entire staff at Mount Westonka High School, welcome. Seniors, this is a special night. In a season of unavoidable canceled events, our Senior Scholarship Awards Night provides us a chance to collectively pause and celebrate you. Yes, seniors, there have been cancellations. There have been disappointments. But in this moment of time, I encourage and challenge you to be present, to truly be present in a space of celebration for you. Feel celebrated and honored for your accomplishments. You have worked hard share in the joy of celebrating others and join me in showing gratitude to our generous donors. I feel privileged to be with you this evening and I want to personally thank you all for making time to join me. It's predictable you will be moved by the stories and generosity of our donors and you will be moved donors by the incredible students and families that are being recognized this evening. Leveraging this digital platform, donors, students, and their families from near and afar, some from around the country and globe, will be able to join in this important celebration. This will be an experiment to host in this format, but I'm going to give it a go. To everyone, welcome. We're glad you're here. Tonight, we will be awarding 62 scholarships from 40 different donors to 57 members of the senior class for a total of $227,900 worth of scholarship awards. That is $227,900 worth of scholarship awards. Those are some pretty impressive numbers, none of which would be possible without the generosity of our scholarship donors. We have individuals and groups who have sponsored a memorial scholarship in honor of someone special. We have scholarships sponsored by community businesses, service organizations, and individuals. And we have scholarships sponsored by groups from within our school community. We have new scholarships that have joined us this year and others that have been around for almost three decades. Most of the donors live in our community but some live as far away as Illinois, Connecticut, New York, Pennsylvania, and Florida. I think the stories and motivation behind each of these scholarships is so important. It's really a part of what defines this community and a program like this that gives us opportunity to share those stories and the people that are a part of those stories. And I look forward to being with you to do that tonight. If we were all together in the pack tonight, we'd be welcoming individual students up one by one to be briefly recognized on stage as their name is announced. We will tell the story behind each scholarship because it's important and we will still also share about each individual senior student recipient. We want to introduce these wonderful young people to both our donors and the broader audience. And as I introduce the student on the slide, picture these students walking across the stage to receive their certificate, to enjoy their moment. Other notes before we launch here, typically a highlight of the evening after the presentation is the space we create to introduce the donor and the student. This usually takes place in punch and pictures. These are often relationships that take root on the spot and those roots continue to develop and grow into long-term relationships. Students, as excited as you are to be awarded this scholarship and to have your name announced, that same excitement is matched by the scholarship donors tonight. We will be sharing information after this evening with students to be able to connect and say thank you. In many cases, those students will be requesting an opportunity to video conference and to get to know the donor better. 
We will do everything we can to connect the donor and the student recipient in the coming weeks to replicate that punch in picture uh, environment. Finally, scholarship recipients, you can expect to see a certificate from the school in the mail to you to mark this special award. So if you're okay with this, let's get started without any further ado. The first scholarship we will present this evening is the West Tonka District 277 Foundation Colonel Brown Scholarship. This year, four very deserving students will be receiving the Colonel Brown Memorial Scholarships. First, a little bit about the scholarship. Bill Brown, a graduate of Mount Westonka High School in 1938, was an active member of his high school class, participating in the chorus, band, orchestra, class play, and yearbook. He played on the basketball team and was also a cheerleader. Bill went on to have a distinguished career in the military, joining the U.S. Army in 1941 and serving as a pilot in both World War II and the Korean War, as well as in military intelligence. He earned 23 awards during his military career and was promoted to Colonel in 1969. Colonel Brown passed away on September 30th, 2015, and in his will, he generously gifted the West Tonka Schools $1.3 million to go towards college scholarships. The Colonel Brown scholarship money has been invested in an endowment fund administered by the West Tonka District 277 Foundation, and scholarships are being awarded by the foundation in a manner that will honor Colonel Brown's wishes and his vision of providing high school graduates the ability to reach for their dreams into the future. First, the scholarship recipient, the first one of the, this evening for the Colonel Brown Scholarship is Michaela Schlosser. Michaela plans to study at the University of Minnesota Twin Cities. She'll be studying animal science. In high school, she was involved in 4-H, FFA, and Science Olympiad. Uh, she's studying to have a DVM and a PhD in epidemiology. And she gives a shout out to Miss Mournville for being positive and effective in the STEAM class. Our second recipient of the Colonel Brown Scholarship is Michaela Morris. As you can see here, Michaela will be studying at the University of Minnesota Twin Cities next year, studying psychology. She was involved in DECA, NHS Rotary Club. She enjoys a job, freedom to travel, and surrounded by good people is where she wants to be in 10 years. Miss Bauman is somebody she wants to give a shout out to for giving great advice no matter how many questions she had. The third recipient tonight is Rebecca Neckreiner. Rebecca will study at Winona State University, studying biology. In her time at the high school, she was involved in, among many other things, NHS, DI, and pep band. She plans to work in a medical field, developing new devices and treatment options for patients. And she'd like to give a shout out to Mr. Bullman, who goes the extra mile to connect with students. And our fourth recipient of a Colonel Brown scholarship is Connor Brock. He'll be studying at Hamlin University, studying psychology and forensic science participated among other things in student senate, basketball, and band. In 10 years, he hopes to be working for the FBI as a criminal profiler. And he wants to give a shout out to Miss Harms, who encourages him to do his very best. I want to congratulate Michaela, Michaela, Rebecca, and Connor for being West Tonka District 277 Colonel Brown Memorial Scholarship winners. Next up we have uh, a new scholarship for our awards night. It is called the Cheryl Woolley and John Dale Class of 63 Scholarship. Cheryl and John were both members of the Mount High School Class of 1963. They married a few years after high school and lived in the Mount and Minnetrista area all their lives. Both their boys went to Mount schools as well. Mound was the smallest school in the huge Lake Conference during the high school years, yet Mound students rose to the top in a number of areas. Cheryl and John believed that their experience at Mound schools helped them become better adults and created this scholarship to give back and help a recipient move on to do great things. The first 
ever winner of the Cheryl Woolley and John Dale Class of 63 Scholarship is Gage Olson. Gage will go on to study at the University of Minnesota Twin Cities to study biology. And among other things, he was involved in speech and trap shooting. He hopes to be working with animals 10 years from now, and he wants to give a shout out to Miss Richards, AP class, AP biology class that is. It was a hard class to teach, but she made it a lot of fun. Congratulations, Gage. The next scholarship we are awarding tonight is the Warren Stickney Memorial Scholarship. Warren Stickney was a graduate, graduate of Mount Westonka High School and the University of Minnesota. Upon his passing, he donated a large sum of money to the University of Minnesota Foundation. U of M staff decided to create a scholarship for MWHS graduating seniors planning to attend one of the U of M campuses who displays good moral character and academic talent. This year, the recipient of the Warren Stickney Scholarship is Kelly Goldberg. Kelly is going to go on to study at the University of Minnesota Twin Cities, studying economics or marketing. In her time at the high school, among other things, she was involved in DECA, Link Crew, and NHS. Ten years from now, hopes to be working in business and possibly obtaining an MBA. She wants to give a shout out to Mr. Bullman, who helped her grow both as a person and a student. Congratulations, Kelly. Next up, we are presenting the Joost Hadorf Leopold Awards. This scholarship is in honor of two people, Corey Leopold and Coach Oscar Hadorf. Corey Leopold was a 1988 Mound graduate. He was a star wrestler who went on to earn all American honors at UMD. Corey died in a car accident in 1993. Coach Oscar Hadorf was a teacher, coach, and athletic director for 25 years from 1944 to 1969. The athletic field is named after him. The Joost Hadorf Leopold Award goes each year to students who stand out in the areas of athletics, but also display strong character, leadership, and citizenship qualities. Typically, we also honor these students at the Athletic Awards Breakfast, but this year, that event has been canceled as a result of our current closure. We are happy, though, to be able to recognize them tonight. This year, the first Joost Hadorf Leopold Scholarship is going to Melissa Drill. Melissa will be studying at Winona State University, studying cell and molecular biology in Spanish. Among other things, she has been involved in softball, volleyball, and basketball. In 10 years, she hopes to own her own orthodontic practice. And she wants to give a shout out to Miss Mournville, who sparked her interest in science and made chemistry fun. The second Yost Hadorf Leopold Scholarship this year is being awarded to Isaiah, Tom, Isaiah Dempsey. Isaiah will be uh, studying at Mankato State or Winona State University, plans to study business, involved in basketball and football during high school, hopes in 10 years to be earning an income doing something he loves, and wants to give a shout out to Miss Harms for her unseen work that goes a long way. Congratulations, both Melissa and Isaiah. The next scholarship that we have the, uh, the opportunity to present tonight is the Northwest Tonka Lions Scholarship. The Northwest Tonka Lions have been volunteering in the community for more than 50 years. They are also one of our longest standing local scholarship donors. This year, the Northwest Tonka Lions Scholarship is being awarded to Grace Hansen. Grace will go on to study at Carleton College in the fall, studying computer science. Among other things, she's been involved in speech, swim, and mad jazz. Ten years from now, she hopes to own her own business and she wants to give a shout out to Miss Paul, who furthered her interests in math. Next up, we have the Spring Creek Scholarship for the Arts and Humanities. John and Judy Lumen have lived in Minnetrista for nearly 50 years and have enjoyed the area and have been particularly impressed with the West Tonka schools. 
Both of their daughters graduated from West Tonka and with the excellent preparation went on to graduate from college. They established this scholarship with a specific desire to assist a student wishing to study in the areas of arts and humanities. While they appreciate the great progress made through technology, they believe that in today's technological world, the arts are too often set aside. Well, this year's Spring Creek Scholarship for the Arts and Humanities Award is being awarded to Rowan Fisher Haft. Rowan plans to study at the Milwaukee Institute of Art and Design, studying illustration. In 10 years, Rowan hopes to create comics and video game art. And she'd like to give a shout out to Miss Hensley for helping her in the journey to pursue art. Congratulations, Rowan. The next scholarship that I have the honor of presenting tonight is the Thomas and Phyllis O'Malley Scholarship. The Thomas and Phyllis O'Malley Scholarship is a tribute to a couple with a lifetime dedication to education. Christopher O'Malley, the youngest son, created the scholarship as a way of memorializing the contributions that his father and mother made to the West Tonka District. Thomas was, at one time, a Mound School District Board member. He was a frequent PTA speaker on parent education, and Phyllis was also a District School Board member at 287 and served on several PTAs. The family takes delight in knowing that their scholarship will support a scholar that has pursued academic excellence and has challenged him or herself to continue to grow and learn through extracurricular activities in the school and or community. This year's winner of the Thomas and Phyllis O'Malley Scholarship is Olivia Martell. Olivia plans to go and study at Loyola University of Chicago, political science pre-law, among other things, has been involved in DECA, NHS, and Rotary. In 10 years, she hopes to have passed the bar exam and beginning her career as a lawyer. She'd like to give a shout out to Ms. Bauman and DECA advisors, the best adults that she knows. Congratulations, Olivia. The next scholarship that we are awarding is the Bill Gillespie Memorial Scholarship by West Tonka District 277 Foundation. Bill Gillespie is a generous member of the community who supported many groups in town, and he especially seemed to enjoy helping students in our community. He was a faithful supporter of the West Tonka District 277 Foundation over the years, and we are honored to now support the scholarship in his name. There are four Bill Gillespie scholarships being awarded this year, one for a STEM focus and the other for three, uh, the other three for general studies. The first scholarship is awarded with a STEM focus, and the recipient of this scholarship is Sarah Malchow. Sarah plans to study at Tufts University and will study math and economics. Among other things, at the high school, she was involved in cross country, wind ensemble, science Olympiad. She hopes to be an actuary in 10 years from now and wants to give a shout out to Miss Paul for simplifying calculus and encouraging her for a career in math. Congratulations, Sarah. The second, third, and fourth of the Bill Gillespie Memorial Scholarships are connected to general studies. And the first recipient of the scholarship is Becca McCann. Becca plans to study at the Minnesota State University in Mankato, studying communications and psychology. Among other things, she was involved in golf, football, and cheerleading here at the high school. Ten years from now, she hopes to be a communications director. She'd like to give a shout out to Prof. Mounier, Ms. Tremblay, and Ms. Harms for always being supportive of Becca. The third of the Bill Gillespie Memorial Scholarship is connected to general studies, and this young man is Charlie Nelson. Charlie will go on to study at Augsburg University studying math and physics. In his time, he was involved in Quiz Bowl Math League Band. He likes to think of himself in 10 years of working in a math-centric job, reside locally, playing his saxophone. He wants to give a shout out to Miss Chilson, who made band an amazing experience. And the final Bill Gillespie Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Monique LaCroix. Monique plans to study at Doherty College in St. Thomas. 
Uh, at this point, studying general studies, maybe some social work. She's been involved in softball, link crew, swim team. She'd like to become a social worker here in 10 years from now and wants to give a shout out to Miss Bauman for always being there for her and Crystal Johnson for being a great mentor. Congratulations, Monique, Charlie, Becca, Sarah, for your Bill Gillespie Memorial Scholarships. Our next scholarship we are awarding is called the Val Chabot Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship honors Val Chabot, a 1981 graduate of Mount Westonka High School. Val went on to become a teacher with a special interest in and passion for environmental issues. She was volunteering on a research project studying the nesting habits of peregrine falcons when she died. Her family and her friends created a memorial scholarship to honor her memory. And this year, the winner of that award is Sonia Hoverston. Sonia will go on to study at the College of St. Benedict. She will study chemistry education and among many things that she was involved in at the high school, DECA, NHS, and Link Crew stand out. She would like to think of herself in 10 years from now a teacher who makes a positive impact. And she wants to give a shout out to Miss Struther, who nurtured her to become a very strong woman. Congratulations, Sonia. Next up, we have the Ridgeview Foundation Healthcare Scholarship. The Ridgeview Foundation awards scholarships to area high school seniors. They created the scholarship program in response to the shortage of healthcare workers years ago. Counting this year's awards, they have now awarded over 240 scholarships since the program's beginning. Ridgeview becomes an educational resources, resource for many winners. Recipients frequently participate in job shadows and internships offered by the medical center during their college careers. This year's winner is Kate McGowan. Kate will go on to study at the University of Kentucky, studying biomedical engineering. She has involved herself in cross country, Nordic ski and band. She hopes to work in the fields of either medicine or engineering and continue riding horses. And she would like to give a shout out to Miss Chilson who made her a better musician and she made learning fun. Congratulations, Kate. The next scholarship we are presenting tonight are the West Tonka JC scholarships. There are two students that are going to be awarded these scholarships this evening. The West Tonka JCs have been serving the community for more than 50 years. The JCs organization is made up of community members who volunteer because they want to have a part in bettering the community. They donate dollars and time to various events and activities, which ultimately helps the community grow stronger. They have been offering two scholarships to graduating class for many years and they plan continuing to offer them because supporting youth in the community is one of their top priorities. The first West Tonka JC scholarship is awarded to Michael Andrev. Michael plans to study at the University of Minnesota Twin Cities and he's going to study computer science, statistics, finance, and mathematics at 10 years from now. He really hopes to be making strong contributions to the fields of artificial intelligence, quantum computing, and finance. And one of the uh, most favorite things that he has done here at the high school is a solar vehicle project at the University of Minnesota. Uh, and he'd like to give a shout out to Miss Morinville, who inspired him to strive forward and work hard. The second of two West Tonka JC scholarships is awarded to Samantha Otto. Samantha will go on to study at the University of Minnesota Carlson School of Management. Business and marketing will be her majors. During her time, she was involved in basketball, volleyball, and DECA. And 10 years from now, she hopes to be traveling the world. She'd like to give a shout out to Mr. Wardlow, who promoted open communication and confidence. Congratulations to both Michael and Samantha. Next up, we have another scholarship that is provided by the Northwest Tonka Lions. As previously mentioned, this club has been volunteering in our community for over 50 years and they are our longest standing local scholarship donor. 
In addition to the scholarship announced shortly ago, this year they're also sponsoring a second scholarship in memory of Irv Stevenson, a community volunteer and one-time member of both the Lions and West Tonka school boards. The Irv Stevenson Scholarship goes to a student planning to attend a two-year or technical program, and that student this year is Ariel Gramala. Ariel will study at North Hennepin Community College, plans to study English or law enforcement. Uh, when she graduates from college, she plans to own a home, work in a job she loves, and be happy. She wants to give a shout out to Miss Johnson who made class fun and entertaining and she was always there for her. Congratulations, Ariel. Our next scholarship is also a new scholarship to us this year. It's called the Alan Almas Leadership Scholarship. Alan Almas was established in 1956 and through its history has been owned and operated by families that are passionate about our community. As a 1991 Mount West Tonka grad, Jay Soul and his family are the current owners. The Alan Almas Leadership Scholarship was established to award a student that has exemplified and demonstrated a strong track record of leadership both at school and at work. With over 120 employees annually, Alan Almas' award-winning success and reputation depends on our young leaders desires and abilities to lead by example through collaboration and empowerment of their co-workers and peers to deliver excellence. And the first recipient of this award goes to Zachary Hayes. Zach will go on to study at Dunwoody College of Technology, plans to study industrial engineering. Among many things that he was involved in, he was involved in student senate, being a set builder and a lot of time in the wood shop. Ten years from now, he hopes to have a successful job and own a home, and he wants to give a shout out to Mr. Kimball for encouraging him to try new things and take risks. Congratulations, Zach. Our next scholarship is also a brand new scholarship to us, and it is called the James J. Jackson Memorial Scholarship. James J. Jackson passed away on February 16, 2018. Jimmy the Jet began teaching at Mount Westonka High School in downtown Mound in 1966 and retired 34 years later at the current location. All four of his children, Michael, Patrick, Sherry, and Christine, graduated from Mound Westonka. Jim taught both college-bound and non-college-bound students in English language courses, many of which he pioneered, such as creative writing, novel and drama, and English 12. He enjoyed the challenge of both expanding the mind of an honor roll student and pulling in a less engaged student with his humor and enthusiasm. Jim was passionate about public school education and was on the front lines of advocating for innovation and investment in education. He was also a talented three-sport high school athlete who earned nine varsity letters and was an avid sports enthusiast who valued the diversification and educational benefits of participation in multiple sports. He found the trend towards specialization in youth sports a disservice to the education of the vast majority of student athletes. He could find beauty and value in most any sport as both a participant and spectator from baseball to billiards, horse racing to hockey, football, track, the Olympics, he loved them all. Although Jim did not value sports above all, he often mentioned how it's things like sports, literature, and music that make life worth living. They give people something to talk about, something to rally around. Indeed, Jim could be seen playing touch football and pick up hockey after school many days with teachers pitted against fellow students. And those teachers were no slouches, as many can attest. Ede, Mikhail, Jackson, Esselman, the Good Friday crew. They were a tough matchup. After retirement from teaching, Jim worked at Baker National Golf Course for the remainder of his life. He was an avid, if not frustrated, golfer, but he did once get a hole in one. In Jim's honor, the student receiving the first James J. Jackson Memorial Scholarship possesses an obvious passion, wisdom, and drive. She is a three-sport athlete, has a love of language fostered by two special teachers she cited, 
in Miss De La Vega and Mr. Bullman, and is part of a family-run business. She's had some tough situations in her life, and Jackson family would like to be a part of what keeps her striving and driving to be the best. This year's recipient is Morgan McFadden. Morgan, the Jackson family shares they are honored and humbled to award this scholarship to you. Jim would be extremely proud of where you've been and where you're going. Good luck. Morgan will be going to the University of Utah, studying linguistics and Spanish. In her time, she has been swim, dive, alpine ski, and golf at the high school. 10 years from now, she plans to work in the translation field. She'd like to give a shout out to Professor, Professor De La Vega, made Spanish fun and exciting, and she felt like a friend. Congratulations, Morgan. The next scholarship that'll be rewarded is the Mound West Tonka Rotary Scholarship. The Rotary Club has been giving to West Tonka schools for over 50 years and have sponsored more than $100,000 worth of scholarships. They love to be involved each year in choosing of candidates of their scholarships, so they conduct their own application and selection process. This year, they're awarding two Mount West Tonka Rotary Scholarships. The first is to a student who not only displays great academics, but also follow the Rotary motto of service above self. This year's Mound West Tonka Rotary Scholarship goes to Rebecca Nackreiner. You had an opportunity to meet Rebecca earlier. She's off to Winona State University next year. Congratulations, Rebecca. This is the second scholarship that she's won this evening. The second scholarship that is awarded to a student in the Rotary uh, for the Rotary is the Rotary Interact Scholarship. And the recipient of this year's scholarship is Amelia Prue. Amelia will go on to study at the University of Wisconsin-Madison this fall, studying marketing or education. In her time here at the high school, she was involved in DECA, lacrosse, and soccer. Ten years from now, she hopes to be having a job where she can help others. And she'd like to give a shout out to Miss Paul, who does everything possible to help ensure her success. Congratulations to both Rebecca and Amelia. Next up, we have the Mary Coral Memorial Scholarship. John Coral and his wife Kay initiated this scholarship in memory of John's sister Mary. Mary Coral was a beautiful person inside and out. She attended school in the West Tonka District K-12 and although Mary struggled with her studies as a student with an undiagnosed learning disability, she did graduate with the rest of her classes, classmates in 1962. She went on to complete secretarial training at a business school, was the postmistress of the Navarre Post Office for 35 years, and helped run the Spring Park laundromat. Mary was a brave and unselfish person who proved that success does not always come in easily rec recognizable forms. This year, the Mary Coral Memorial Scholarship is going to Alyssa Grove. Alyssa will study at the Minnesota School of Cosmetology and will study specifically in specialization in event makeup. In 10 years, she hopes to own her own salon and she'd like to give a shout out to the Wallace staff for pushing her to be the very best that she can be. Congratulations, Alyssa. Next up, we have the John Rasmussen Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship was established to honor John Rasmussen. John was a longtime Mound resident and sports fan. His wife, Dee, spent many years working at MWHS and his three children all graduated from this high school. The scholarship is open to student athletes participating in hockey or golf. And this year, the John Rasmussen Memorial Scholarship is being awarded to Adam Nobbs. Adam plans to study at Denver University next year, studying engineering. He, among other things, has been involved in hockey, football, and band. In 10 years, he hopes to be working in the engineering field and supporting his local community and would like to give out a shout out to Mr. Paul, who encouraged him and positively contributed to his ideas. Congratulations, Adam. 
The next scholarship that I had the privilege of awarding is the Brian Chase Memorial Scholarship. Brian's father, Ronald Chase, initiated the scholarship years ago as a memorial to his son, Brian, who was 13 years old and enrolled in the West Tonka District when he died in a boating accident. Each year, the family chooses their own scholarship winner. And this year, they have chosen Zachary Hayes. You had a chance to meet Zach a little earlier on. He's going to study at Dunwoody College of Technology. I want to congratulate Zach. Way to go. The next scholarship we're awarding tonight is the Mound Masonic Lodge 320 Scholarship. The Mound Masonic Lodge pairs up with Minnesota Grand Lodge to sponsor a scholarship each year to a graduating student. The scholarship is based on a combination of criteria that includes academic performance, community contributions, leadership skills, and financial need. And this year, this award is going to Olivia Shopper. Olivia plans on going and studying at Rasmussen College, studying nursing. And among other things, she was involved in volleyball, public hearings, and CNA. Ten years from now, she hopes to be excelling in a nursing career with a goal of working at the Mayo Clinic. And she'd like to give a shout out to Miss Bruckner for being caring, kind-hearted, strong, and giving great bear hugs. Congratulations, Olivia. Next up, we have a scholarship that has been brought back to us. This is the Larry Axel Basketball Memorial Scholarship, and it's awarded to two different students. Larry Axel was a beloved member of the West Tonka community. During his 29th year career with the district, he coached baseball and basketball, taught all grade levels, and was an assistant high school principal, as well as athletic and activities director. After retiring, he continued to work at Mount Westaka High School sporting events, organized the Tri-Metro and Metro Alliance conferences, and ran tournaments for the Minnesota State High School League. But one of his favorite places was to be at the score table keeping the book for MWHS boys and girls basketball games. After he passed away too soon from leukemia in 2006, his fellow coaches, teachers, friends, family, and the basketball boosters came together to raise money for two scholarships which would be awarded each year to two different athletes who had contributed to the basketball programs. In particular, Coach Humbert, Keith Rankoff, and Rick Dahl were instrumental in getting the effort funded. His family included his wife Sharon, who still lives in Mound, and his daughter Kathleen, a 1996 MWHS grad who lives with her family in St. Anthony, but still volunteers with the West Tonka 277 Foundation. He knows that Larry would be pleased that students were headed to post-secondary institution with a scholarship in his name. He so valued education and the life lessons students could lean and learn on, off, on and off the court while being a part of a team. The scholarship on the women's side has been awarded to Samantha Otto. You had a chance to meet Samantha a little bit earlier. She'll be going on to study at Carlson School of Management at the University of Minnesota. Congratulations, Sam. And the second award goes to, on the men's side, someone else that you've heard from tonight already, Connor Prock, who will go on to study at Hamlin University. I want to congratulate both Sam and Connor for the Larry Exel Memorial Scholarships. Our next scholarship we are awarding is named the Kyle D. Simonson Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is being awarded in honor of Kyle Simonson, who was taken from his family at far too young an age. The sponsors of the scholarship, Sue and Phil Simonson, would like the spirit and enthusiasm of Kyle to live on in this award. They choose to recognize a student who has been a standout in the DECA program, a student organization that prepares emerging leaders for successful careers. And this year's Kyle D. Simonson Memorial Scholarship is going to Olivia Martell. Olivia will be studying at Loyola University in Chicago, and you've had a chance to meet her already this evening. She'll be studying political science and pre-law, and she's given shout-outs to uh, DEC advisors, which just happens to be Mrs. Simonson as well. 
Congratulations, Olivia. The next scholarship I have the honor of awarding tonight is the Tyler Russell Hill Sunshine Scholarships. And for these scholarships, uh, there are several. And we are going to announce them one by one momentarily. But first we are going to hear about Tyler. Tyler Hill was an A honor student, AP history, MWHS distinguished student, MVP in rugby, and a hero at his high school for single-handedly reporting a bomb threat when his peers were too frightened to come forward. Ty was just completing his sophomore year with the class of 2009, barely 16, when he died a preventable, preventable death on a people-to-people -people trip to Japan in 2007. Tyler's family founded Depart Smart, the only nonprofit advancing life-saving travel and tourism consumer safety with an online travel hero safety services. Tyler Russell Hill Sunshine Scholarships celebrate his life with six scholarships representing Tyler's passion and leadership in six different areas, history, science, world language, DECA, and athletics such as football, hockey, hockey, rugby, or soccer. Recipients are selected from applications and faculty recommendations with a final approval of the scholarship uh, committee and Tyler's family. I will announce each of these areas in no particular order. The first of these scholarships goes to the science area and that winner is Lily Hames. Lily plans to go on to study at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, study chemistry. She's been involved in tennis, alpine ski, and NHS. She hopes to be working 10 years from now in the bioscience field, established in a scientific pharmacy field. And she gives a shout out to Mr. Cater, who promoted optimism for the future. Congratulations, Lily. The second scholarship announcement is the history one, and this goes to Adam Bourne. Adam will go on to study at the University of Alabama, Huntsville, wants to study computer science, and among other things was involved in speech, math league, and NHS. Ten years from now, he hopes to be working in the video game, defense, or aerospace field. Wants to give a shout out to Mr. Bullman for providing advice, answering questions, and helping him with his writing. The third scholarship announcement is the World Language Scholarship, and this award goes to Chloe Cantola. Chloe will go on to study at Arizona State University studying management. She's been involved in softball, DECA, environmental club. She hopes to be, uh, 10 years from now, successful and as happy as her parents, and wants to give a shout out to Miss Richards for expanding her entire global view of what science means. Congratulations, Chloe. The next scholarship goes to a DECA uh, person, and this would be Emily Moore. Emily plans to go to study at Clemson University, studying marketing, and uh, during her time here at the high school, among other things, she was involved in soccer, lacrosse, and DECA. And she hopes to be involved in the field of sports marketing. She wants to give a shout out to Mr. Robinson for igniting her desire to be uh, studying marketing. Next up, we have a announcement for a football scholarship in the athletic side, and this goes to Jack Bullock. Jack will study at the University of North Dakota, studying either mechanical engineering or aviation. Time during the high school involved in football and baseball. Hopes to be financially stable and living independently in 10 years from now. Wants to give a shout out to three different teachers, Miss Mournville, Miss Tremblay, and Mr. Kimball, who made classes interesting and fun to attend each day. And the final and sixth scholarship announcement has to do with rugby, soccer, or hockey. And this award's going to go to Blake Harmer. Blake will be planning to study at the University of Kansas this fall, studying finance and marketing. In his time at the high school, he's involved in hockey, golf, and DECA. Hopes to be in 10 years working as a financial advisor and wants to give a shout out to Mr. Robinson for improving his communication skills and preparation for the real world. Congratulations to all 
six of the Tyler Russell Hill Sunshine Scholarship winners. The next scholarship that I have the honor of uh, presenting tonight is the Crime Prevention Fund Continuing Education Award Scholarship. The Crime Prevention Fund Scholarship is aimed at providing support to a student or students that represent similar ideals to those exhibited by the late Gloria Anderson. Gloria was passionate about children, about children in the community, and doing the right thing. This scholarship is aimed at supporting a strong leader with whom possesses a focus on post-secondary experience and making that new environment the best possible by their presence. This year, there are two separate scholarship winners under the Crime Prevention Fund Continuing Education Award Scholarship. And the first of those two winners is awarded to Hampton Velarde, who will go on to study at Gustavus Adolphus College. He plans to study mathematics and among many things that he was involved in at the high school included student senate link crew and math league. Ten years from now he hopes to be in a career path where he feels inspired and happy and enjoying those that are around him. And he would like to give a shout out to Mr. Humbert, Coach Humbert, who helped him during the time when he needed guidance. Congratulations, Hampton. And the second of the two scholarships is awarded to Maria Miranda. Maria will study at the University of Minnesota, studying finance and risk management insurance. And uh, she hopes to be in the realm of uh, academia, teaching and performing research 10 years from now. She is particularly proud of being a board member of the University of Minnesota PSEO Student Association, and she wants to give a shout out to Ms. Bauman for assisting her with all of the PSEO obligations and responsibilities. Congratulations to both Hampton and Maria. The next scholarship that I've got the honor of introducing and announcing is the WEM West Tonka Education Minnesota Teachers Union Scholarship. This scholarship is sponsored by the West Tonka Education Minnesota Teachers Union Group as a way to promote academic success by rewarding a student who has achieved just that. In many cases, it also goes to a student who plans to work with children in some capacity in the future. And this year, this scholarship award goes to Emily Oberdeck. Emily will study at Gustavus next fall, studying elementary education, among many things that she's been involved in, hockey, club soccer, and band. She plans to be an elementary school teacher in 10 years and wants to give a shout out to Mrs. Lenz for always being there willing to help. Congratulations, Emily. Next up, we are awarding the American Legion Auxiliary Unit 398 Scholarship the American Legion Auxiliary Group sponsors two scholarships each year. One is awarded to a student planning to attend a four-year school and the other to a student planning to attend a two-year school or technical program. And this year's scholarship for a four-year school is being awarded to Ava Chonia. Ava will study at the University of St. Thomas. She'll study biology. She was involved in many things at the high school, including SAD, football, and cheerleading. She plans to complete her residency in cardiothoracic surgery and wants to give a shout out to Ms. Trembley to ensure that she succeeded in her class and Ms. Trembley made herself available for anything. I want to congratulate Ava and this year's scholarship for a two year or technical program is being awarded to Cassidy Jenkins. Cassidy plans to go and study at Minneapolis College and plans to study social work. In her time at the high school, she's involved in cheer, gymnastics, and track. 10 years, she wants to have employment in either a school or a hospital, and she'd like to give a shout out to Mr. Keel, who was a role model to her and brought a smile to her face. Congratulations to Ava and Cassidy. Next up, we have the Class of 1967 Scholarship. 
The class of 1967 scholarship originated from when alumni from the class of 67 came together with the mission of supporting a high school senior student's next step in his or her academic career. Members of this class continue to rally around the scholarship to support it yearly. This year's winner of the class of 1967 scholarship is Ari Zahaski. Ari plans to go on and study at the University of Colorado Colorado Boulder in the fall, studying business administration. Among other things, she was involved in DECA, NHS, and Link Crew. She hopes to possibly own her own business in 10 years and would like to give a shout out to Mr. Wood, who she felt truly cared about her. Congratulations, Ari. The next scholarship that we have the honor of awarding tonight is the Sue Riley Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship honors Sue Riley, mother of Brandon Riley, a 1996 graduate. Sue came to Mound after a divorce and raised Brandon as a single parent. She was a dedicated mother and somehow balanced all the demands of parenthood and a career, giving Brandon a great chance of a successful life. Sue, of course, appreciated all that MWHS had to offer as well. Sue passed away two years ago. Brandon and his wife, Amy created a memorial scholarship to honor her memory and to help MWHS support seniors to pursue a post-secondary education. The Sue Riley Memorial Award goes to Grace Biglow. Grace plans to study at the University of Minnesota Twin Cities. Her uh, uh, major right now is undecided. Uh, among many things, at the high school she was involved in soccer and science Olympiad. She uh, hopes to, in about 10 years, live in a treehouse with a pet raccoon and, uh, and wants to give a shout out to Miss Hensley, who supported her creative side and pushed her to be her very best. Congratulations, Grace. The next scholarship we are awarding is the Orno West Tonka Soccer Club Scholarship. The Orono Westaka Scholarship is being awarded from the Orono Westaka Soccer Club as a way to contribute to support student athletes in our serving communities. They see how hard they work on their extracurricular activities and they want to reward students for their hard work and see them excel into the future. The Orono Westaka Soccer Scholarship goes to Callie Copeman. Callie plans to study at Grand Canyon University studying business and in her time at the high school she's involved in soccer and link crew. Ten years she has she hopes to be having an established career and starting a family and she'd like to give a shout out to Mr. Wood as well for always putting a smile on her face. Congratulations Callie. The next scholarship that we are awarding is also a long time scholarship the Mound Fire Department Auxiliary Scholarship. The Mound Fire Department Auxiliary is committed to supporting not only the fire department, but also a variety of events, individual and organizations in the community. They are proud to invest in the future of local youth by sponsoring this scholarship year after year. And this year's winner is Emma Mack. Emma plans to go on and study at the University of Wisconsin-Madison to study business. Among many things she was involved in at the high school included softball, volleyball, DECA. She plans to own her own business or a job in a business where she can travel 10 years from now and wants to give a shout out to Mrs. Paul who goes above and beyond to help her students. Congratulations, Emma. This next scholarship is also a new scholarship to us this year. It is the Long Lake Fire Scholarship. The Long Lake Volunteer Firemen's Relief Association is a 501c3 nonprofit fund raising organization that exists to support the welfare and morale of the Long Lake firefighters who proudly serve the cities of Long Lake, Medina, Minnetonka Beach, and Orono. The organization is run by firefighters that live in your neighborhoods and have kids attending your schools. It is the desire of the Long Lake Volunteer Firemen's Relief Association to award a scholarship to a deserving student that wishes to pursue a career in public service. We wish that that chosen student all the best as he or she embarks on the next chapter in their life. 
And the first recipient of this scholarship is Alex Flemo. Alex will go on to study at Bemidji State University. Uh, undecided major at this point, has been involved in hockey and lacrosse, has a goal in 10 years of living a fulfilling life, and wants to give a shout out to Mr. Atkinson for allowing time in class to do homework. <laughs> Congratulations, Alex. We have yet another new scholarship to us this year, and that is the Tonka Built Scholarship. Ben and Jake are local business owners who grew up on Lake Minnetonka area, or in the Lake Minnetonka area, rather. Jake graduated from Mauistonka High School in 2007, and his years as a student will always be cherished. This scholarship was set up to show appreciation to a wonderful school district and to support hardworking students. A message from Ben, Tonka Built Scholarship Award winner, go learn, have fun, and be of service during your new chapter in life. The first recipient of the Tonka Built Scholarship is Daniel Navy. Daniel will go on to study at the University of Wisconsin Stout studying industrial design. He, he has been involved in soccer and football. He hopes to be employed in 10 years and own his own home and wants to give a shout out to Mr. Kimball who taught him to become a better woodworker. Congratulations, Daniel. The next scholarships that I am presenting tonight are the MWHS NHS, or National Honor Society Scholarships. And this year, the Whitehawk chapter of NHS is sponsoring two scholarships of two current NHS students. These scholarships recognize the students who both excel academically and make contributions to our school community through NHS or other means. This year's one of two NHS scholarship winners is Joe Schwab. Joe plans to study at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, studying mechanical engineering. He's been involved in many things in the high school, but among them, soccer, hockey, trap shooting. 10 years from now, he hopes to be working as an engineer, ideally in the aerospace field, and wants to give a shout out to Miss Paul, who brings energy to the classroom and gets to know her students. Congratulations, Joe. And the other NHS scholarship being awarded to a second student is Bailey Kammeyer. Bailey plans to study at San Diego State University studying neuroscience. Among other things, she's been involved in soccer, track and field, summit dance, and 10 years from now, she hopes to be completing a neuroradiology training to treat patients who have suffered neurological trauma. Wants to give a shout out to Miss Paul, who pushed her to excel and believed in her math abilities. Way to go, Bailey and Joe. Next up, we have a scholarship that we're excited to present called the West Tonka School Administr Administrator Scholarship. The West Tonka School Administrator Scholarship was created several years ago as a means of acknowledging and supporting a student who has attended West Tonka Public Schools their entire K-12 career. It, also, it is also intended to be a tangible means of supporting the district initiative to have every student college ready, whether through fulfillment, fulfillment of vocational two-year or four-year college goals. And this year, the winner of the West Tonka School Administrator Scholarship is being awarded to Trey Madsen. Trey plans to go on to study at the University of Minnesota Twin Cities, to study engineering, was involved in soccer and hockey, hopes to be employed in the engineering field, and wants to give a shout out to Mr. Cater. His classes were the most enjoyable to Trey. Congratulations, Trey. Next up, we have the MWHS Student Senate Scholarships. And there are two scholarships embedded here. This scholarship is awarded to members of the Senior Senate Cabinet who have proven leadership in the high school and in the community. These students are hardworking and dedicated, making them incredibly deserving of this honor. And the first of these two scholarship goes to Lexi Jolliker. Lexi, it plans to go and study at the at Normandale uh, Community College 
studying dental hygiene. She's been involved in student senate, wrestling cheerleading, hopes to be working as a dental hygienist in 10 years from now, and wants to give a shout out to Mr. Kimball and Ms. Harms for being thankful for their advice and their kind words along the way. And the second of two Senate scholarships this year goes to Robbie Brewstead. Robbie plans to go and study at the University of Minnesota Twin Cities by studying computer science. And among other things that he was involved in at the high school during his time, he was involved in Nordic skiing, wind ensemble band, and student senate. Ten years from now, he hopes to be conducting computer science research in a corporate uh, setting or a scientific field. Wants to give a shout out to Mr. Bullman, who taught him to strive for excellence and realize his potential. Congratulations to Lexi and Robbie, your Senate scholarship winners. The next scholarship that we are awarding tonight is the Robert Photography Scholarship. Bob Shinla is a business owner who is very active in our school and community, as is his wife, Cindy. In addition to being the photography photographer at many of our school activities, Bob also sponsors the Robert Photography Scholarship. And this year, the Robert Photography Award is going to Ivy Anderson. Ivy plans to study at the Minneapolis College of Art and Design this fall. Ivy plans to study a Bachelor of Fine Arts and a minor in Teaching Arts. During her time at the high school, she was involved in Quiz Bowl, Science Olympiad, and the Senior Mural Committee. Ten years from now, she hopes to be practicing, uh, being a practicing artist and possibly teaching. And she wants to give a shout out to Miss Hensley, who created an amazing space to learn and grow during her time here at the high school. Congratulations, Ivy. The next scholarship we have, the Knights of Columbus Mount Council 6005 scholarship. And we have two winners of the scholarship, but first a description. Another faithful longtime donor of ours in the group is the Knights of Columbus. The Knights of Columbus have been in existence for over 130 years and they are based on the founding principles of charity, unity, and fraternity. The local council places significant emphasis on service to its community. One of the manifestations of its mission is to support the education of the community's youth. As in the past years, they are sponsoring two scholarships this year with the hope that and expectation that the recipients of these scholarships will develop a similar sense of community and may one day repay the benefits they receive today to future generations. And the first of the two separate scholarships being awarded tonight goes to Callan Tykes. Callan plans to study at the University of Minnesota Twin Cities, plans to study sustainability systems management, was involved in other things uh, in addition to DECA, NHS, and golf. Ten years from now, she plans to be working in a job that promotes environmental sustainability and would like to give a shout out to Mr. Robinson, who truly cares about his students and prioritizes checking in with each and every one of them. Congratulations, Callum. And the second of these two scholarships is being awarded to Art Machorek. Artie will be studying at the University of Minnesota Twin Cities, studying environmental engineering. And during his time during at the high school, he's involved in wrestling and NHS hopes to be earning a living by helping the world any way he can 10 years from now and wants to give a shout out to Mr. Wardlow for always making a subject fun and interesting. Congratulations, Callan and Artie. The next scholarship that uh, I have the pleasure of announcing is the winner of the Minnesota Lakes Bank Scholarship. Minnesota Lakes Bank is proud to support the scholarship as well as having provided more than 100 years of community banking experience to the West Metro communities. This year, the Minnesota Lakes Bank Scholarship is being awarded to Sophia Cherba. Sophia plans to study at Mankato State University. She plans to study business or marketing, has been involved with the dance team, tennis and photography during her time in the high school and in 10 years would like to be working at a job she loves, to be active and to enjoy family and friends. Would also like to give a shout out to Mr. Robinson, 
the most fun and caring teacher she's ever had. Congratulations, Sophia. We have five remaining scholarships this evening. And next, we are excited to announce the Wiser Insurance Scholarship. Wiser Insurance Agency Scholarship is provided by local business Wiser Insurance Agency and Jason Zattler to help in the advancement of young adults in the insurance or business industry. They are proud to invest in the future of MWHS graduates. This year's winner of the Wiser Insurance Agency uh, scholarship is no other than Noah Alvig. Noah plans to go and study at LSU this fall, studying business, among other things, was involved in golf, hockey, and NHS. Ten years from now, hopes to be employed with a professional sports team in business operations and would like to give a shout out to Mr. Atkinson, who told stories about becoming a better golfer and a person. Congratulations, Noah. Next up, we have the pleasure of introducing the Fred or Coach Hanley Memorial Scholarship. After graduating from high school, Fred played football at a junior college in Illinois. It was there where he, he was scouted by the NFL and offered a scholarship to play for Purdue. He chose education and ended up playing football for Purdue. He then became a teacher and taught for 35 years, 30 of those years in the West Tonka District where he also coached football and assisted with wrestling. According to the homecoming program, he earned the most wins of any coach in Mount Westonka football history, and that still holds to this day. As a teacher and a coach, his students meant everything to him, not just the athletes, but all of his students. He had such a genuine interest and passion for each and every one of them. His family is excited to have his giving and caring legacy live on through this scholarship. The Fred Coach Hanley Memorial Scholarship is being awarded to Zach Babb. Zach plans to go and study at the University of North Dakota to study aviation or kinesiology. During his time at the high school, he was involved in football, track and field, strength and conditioning. Hopes to in 10 years have a career in the field of study for which he decides to study at the college level and would like to give a shout out to Mr. Bovey. He looked up to him as a person and a coach. Congratulations, Zach. Next up, we have the Marty Gilbertson Education Office Employees Scholarship. Marty Gilbertson was a school secretary in the West Tonka District for over 22 years, working at the old building downtown, moving to Shirley Hills, and then to Grandview Middle School. The EOE group has always donated a small amount of their union dues to fund a scholarship. Marty so enjoyed her years at West Tonka that she continued to donate personal funds even after her retirement in 1992, thus creating the Marty Gilbertson title. This year's recipient is no other than Rachel Christensen. Rachel plans to study at Mankato State University studying environmental science next year. She has been involved in, among other things, dance team, tennis, and lacrosse. Ten years from now, she hopes to have a successful job starting a family and being happy. And she'd like to give a shout out to Miss Carlson for being a great influence as both a teacher and a coach. Congratulations, Rachel. Next, we're awarding the John Shervin Memorial Scholarship. The John Shervin Memorial Scholarship represents the love John Shervin had for the Lake Minnetonka community. John graduated from Mound West Tonka in 1970 and remained in the area to raise a family. He started West Tonka Sports soon after graduation and became a dedicated and passionate athletic supporter. His family has been sponsoring this scholarship for 17 years and is proud to present the 20th John Shervin Memorial Scholarship to Tristan K. Tristan will go on to study at the University of Minnesota Duluth studying biochemistry, among other things, has been involved in Quiz Bowl, Math League, Jazz Band. Hopes to be in 10 years utilizing his skills in a career he enjoys and would like to give a shout out to Miss Paul who makes learning difficult concepts fun. Congratulations to Tristan. And the final scholarship that we have the pleasure and honor of awarding tonight is the Wolner Family Cross Country Scholarship. The MWHS Cross Country Scholarship from the Wolner family is a way to give back to a program that has a great impact 
on their daughter of Gary and Lori Wolmer. Molly, their daughter, continues to draw on her experiences from running. Gary, a West Tonka School Board member, coached many junior high school runners for six years, and both Gary and Lori are well aware of the commitments these athletes make to become good runners. It is their hope that the dedication these athletes have for cross country carry over into their everyday lives as college students and their careers. And this year's winner is Brett Bowman. Brett plans to study at the University of Minnesota Twin Cities, computer science, has been involved in cross country, track and field, and would like to give a shout out to Miss Simonson. Well, this concludes the presentation of the awards. In closing, I would like to just share how much we are going to miss these incredible young people at our school. This has been a really special group of seniors, the class of 2020. Donors, I'm sure you'll find, as you get to know them better, that they are an outstanding representation of what your scholarship represents and what is great about our youth today. Seniors, may this not be our last celebration together. Stay positive and take this one day at a time. I am proud of you. This school is proud of you. Your community is proud of you. Donors, again, we are incredibly grateful for your generosity. You're making a real impact on our young people year after year, and I can tell you, it's not anything that we take for granted. We are incredibly appreciative of your support, and you set a wonderful example for us all, but for the recipients, to make sure that they are the ones that help youth of tomorrow when they are in a position to help them and to help others. We will look for ways to connect donors to students in the coming weeks. Donors, if you haven't already done so, please fill out the form I sent via an email the other day, which gives us permission to share your contact information, your email, with our students, and students will follow up with you. In a time when there is so much uncertainty, and for a season that has included so much worry for so many people, it has been refreshing, energizing, and an absolute pleasure and honor to be with you tonight to celebrate this fine, fine class of 2020 seniors and their awards. Be safe, be well, thank you, and we'll see you soon. Well, that wraps up our evening. Uh, folks, thank you very much for joining us. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the evening. Scholarship donors, thank you so much for your uh, generosity uh, year after year and seniors uh, in this season of uncertainty. Uh, hopefully this provided you a night that you felt celebrated and uh, we will look for a, a strong finish down the stretch here for you. Uh, we're thinking about you and to everybody out there, be well. Thanks for joining us.